I just tried carpentry because it seemed interesting and I didn't like doing kitchen work all day. <laughs> <laughs> I think I just got more interested in the design of it as I went along because it's not, it doesn't stay interesting to me to just do things by the plans right. and okay, I gotta put up another box and then put another roof on it and then people will move in and it's kind of like you can't. I couldn't see myself spending years and years doing that. Right. So Errol yeah. always did kind of the design. She just worked with whoever was yeah. willing. Necessity has always been why we build. Right. Like when we yeah. came here, we literally had no shelter. Yeah. Uh, we had the big barn. Yeah. And, and that was it in the trailer. <laughs> and And so it became necessitous to, you know, get a place to live, get some right. studios up, get, you know, get to work. And that was just basically box structure, what they call stick construction, right. Right. which the guy who was doing carpentry at the time knew how to do. He'd been trained to do that. Yeah. Hmm. Chaz can figure the mathematics of right. something. He can figure to build a building this shape of this dining room or the shape of a the log house and how it goes up and how the roof comes down and yeah. he can figure that out and he'll build models. And You're a lot more yeah. comfortable and yeah. a lot more flexible because he'll build a house that the wind doesn't tear through. Yeah. Oh, you have to account for all those details. I mean, building in this place over the two years that we've been here, the buildings have changed a lot just from knowing what the rains do and what the wind does exactly. and what the what it means to build on the side of a mountain right. makes a big difference. Right. You, you're you influenced completely by the land. Yeah. And improv isn't just improv by the people, but improv by where you're building. And he's, he is great at that. He understands grades. He understands steepness. He understands pitch. He understands those things. Huh. He has a natural ecological point of view. Huh. And he has a natural elegance about him. It's just the way he is. So your buildings end up being very lovely, even though they're ecologically sound. In yeah. other words, a lot of eco-builders aren't really very aesthetic. They're very, very good at that, but very few are like, you know, wild geniuses at the aesthetics of it. And, right. and Chaz has both, so it's very yeah. thrilling working with him. Yeah. yeah. You know? Um because sustainability has to be beautiful too. Yeah. Yeah. To to make its point. Yeah. I mean, people in our rural area now come and look at Chaz's buildings. Right. Mm. And they get the biggest kick out yeah. of it. They Sparks. really they can't even believe it that what what he's doing. Yeah. And it's fun. It's fun. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. you you look at mm -hmm. what, what's considered artistic, you know, in the world when people put up the pieces of iron in their own gardens, and it wasn't done to be arty. It was because it felt good, yeah, it looked did. good, yeah. it made them feel better. That that is where art has to stem from. Mm. That's that's what true art is. The other thing is to impress somebody over there, yeah, or, right. or because this is yeah. indicative of a certain there. movement, and it's yeah. so heady that right. you lose yeah. that thing that art is. You know, you connect to another human being because of that kind yeah. of beauty, which, especially when you build organically, yeah. it's in your body. Yeah. You, you understand the beauty of a tree because your primitive cells understand the beauty yeah. of a tree. That so was shelter then, it's shelter now. Well, I built this cooperatively, and you feel it in the aesthetic, yeah. and then the people that come into it are gonna become cooperative. Right, right. Yeah. we did that with the log house. We built the log <laughs> house. We thought we had a great design. We were done. We hadn't put the roof on, but we were like, what in the hell is this? You yeah. can't see the mountain. You can't see the sky, yeah. you know? Yeah. And he said, well, the only way to get that is we'd have to put the damn thing 10 feet in the air. And we both looked at each other and went, oh, well, I yeah. guess we do. And then we just kind of slept on it. And the next morning I said, can you, I think if you went there, can you, and I started describing, I said, can you do the, he said, yeah, 
<laughs> before I even finished right. it, because he was yeah, right there, yeah. he going, oh yeah, that kind of roof, okay, yeah. I'll figure that out. Yeah. And it's the same in the building, you know, the crews That's that I oh, work yeah. with, yeah. all these guys, and same thing, there's yeah. no script, you don't, there's no blueprints, That's right. there's an idea for a roof that you're pretty sure it will work, mm -hmm. and then as you're doing it, you go, uh-oh, we don't know how to do this, mm -hmm. and somebody says, hey, how do you do blah, 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 and I think about it, I go, I don't know, you better figure it out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, and what comes out of working the way we do is you find each other's strengths and weaknesses. Yeah. Like, no, there's no competitive the secrets. Room. The, the, the more yeah. people here that get involved in the areas they're interested in and love to do, the wilder the place gets. Yeah. The whole, all of us, yeah, yeah. all of us get more alive. <laughs> right. Yeah, free. Because yeah. that means you're ultimately going to have a culture where everybody's enjoying what they're doing. Yeah. Yeah. And that is the ultimate goal of equilibrium, yeah. where, like Wolf said, in the genius potential, where work becomes play. Yeah. Keep that with you and then build a culture from that. Yeah. yeah. And then that you'll idea. have a world that is kick ass. Yeah. And that world will survive. Yeah. It will not go down. Yeah. If you give people a great place to work in, a great building to work in, a great home to live in, they're going to thrive. That's right. And that's the same as the philosophy of Zendik. If you give them a philosophy that gives them room to expand, if you give them religion and politics with room to thrive, then they will, and the building right. should reflect that.